Hi there, it's Adam with Web Starts, and today I want to show you a few things to help you get started using Web Starts to build your website. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and chosen one of our pre-designed sites. I've clicked on the edit site option when I'm in my account dashboard and I'm now in what we call the editor view. Now when you're in the editor view you can make changes to your web pages on an individual basis. I'm going to quickly cover some of the tools just to show you uh, what it takes to get started, get your site online, and make the changes that you'd like. So the first thing I want you to notice is up here in the top left, there's a little drop down menu and what this does is it allows you to toggle between the pages of your website. Now most of our pre-designed sites come with three pages, a home, about, and contact. You can add as many pages as your account allows. Our free account allows I think up to five pages, but if you upgrade to a Pro Plus for less than $100 a year, you get all the pages you want to create. So I'm going to start by editing the home page and the way that I'm going to do that is select this text right here where it says company name and I'm going to start off by showing you how to change that text you go ahead and you click on it and you hold down your left mouse cursor highlight it and then you can change it to whatever you'd like so I'm going to type in photography ink I'm calling that the name of my site and then as I'm going along I like to make uh, save my changes so that I don't lose any of my work so whenever I make a change I just click save very quickly uh, that little box pops up and asks me if I'd like to share my changes on Facebook I didn't want to do that yet so I simply clicked no uh, say you want to change the text of this or I'm sorry the the color of this font here you can select the font and then click this icon that says set font color and then just choose the blue color from the drop down and you can see that's applied instantly and then once again I click save to make sure I don't lose my work so moving along to uh, your font size and style you can add a new text box at any time by clicking this big T now notice that if I have black text on a black background you can't see it but as soon as I drag that text box in front of my image it becomes visible uh, that's simply just because uh, with the black on black that's you know impossible to see so I go ahead and go in here and I type uh, whatever my text is and now I want to change the font I can do that by just selecting it and then I can come down here and I can find a, a font that I, font style I like and I can apply it I can do the same thing with the size by choosing the size from the drop down menu uh, and of course I can change the color once again the way that I showed you previously now there's a couple of other options here on text box you can put a text box in with an image to the left or right uh, I'm not going to use that feature right now but that basically allows you to insert any one of these images just like that into a little text box so you can have a little word wrap thing going on but I'm going to take that out for now because I'm not going to use it for this particular site but notice that I chose a design that has a slideshow so if I view my live site I come over here and I click on my forward and back arrows and it actually changes the image that appears or the photo that appears on my site now I want to edit that slideshow so I click on it and then I click on this little edit uh, slideshow icon right there and you can see here these are all the files that I have uploaded that are images to my account and I can access files from our image library or from even my Facebook account if I'm willing to log in and give Facebook permission to connect to web starts but notice these are the the uh, photos that are in my slideshow they're down here at the bottom and I can add a title above each one I can click on them to delete them if I want to bring them back or reorder them I just select them again uh, from the section above now for this example I'm going to upload a file directly from my computer and I have uh, this really fun file here of our team at web start some of the guys that help you on the phone that you're probably already familiar with and notice that when I upload that file which is very large that it asks me if I'd like to resize the file to fit well on my web page I'm going to choose yes because I don't want my web page to take forever to load and I know that if I put really large file sizes on my web page it can slow down uh, the resolution of that page so 
I click yes, it does a little resize, and now I just add that to my slideshow. I'm going to click next step and you can see that I have access to several controls. I can choose whether to show the manual controls or not show them at all and I can choose from a ton of different transition effects. I can change the amount of time be that goes by between uh, the slides changing and I can even choose whether I want to uh, pause on hover, meaning when I move my mouse over the slideshow, whether the slideshow stops playing. Once I've made my changes, I click edit slideshow. Now notice it looks the same for the moment. I'm going to once again save and then I'm going to click on view site so I can take a look at how my slideshow looks to the rest of the world. You can see that my slides are changing and it looks great. All my photos are the same height and width and that really makes it look great. Until you get to that photo that I uploaded right there of our web starts team, you can see that there's a little bit of black uh, siding on each or, or bl uh, black empty space on each side of that particular slide and that's because that image is not the same height and width as the rest of the images so if you're building a slideshow and you want your site to look great I recommend that you make all your images the same height and width and have the same format so either widescreen or square or whatever you want so going back to our editor we can see that there are a lot of tools here and I'm not going to cover them all in this video but I do want to quickly cover a few uh, the box tool that adds a box just like this that you can fill in with a color at any time just like that the delete is the red icon I just deleted that you can also delete objects by just simply clicking on them and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard and of course you can go forward and back at any time if you want to do you want to duplicate an object like let's say I want to make another copy of this text right here I can click on it select it I choose the copy option and then the paste option and then I can actually drag that with my mouse and you can see I have now a duplicate of that same object now one of the problems a lot of people have is lining up their objects perfectly so I'm going to give you a few real big tips on how to make your website look perfect that way one of those tips is to use the resize by value option which is attached to each object if you click if you didn't see that it was this little square here when you do that you can type in the exact width and height that you want each object to appear on your page once you've done that click OK and it will be resized another little tip that I like to use is I like to hold down uh, shift and the arrow key for the direction I want to move my object this allows your object to move perfectly in a straight line either left right up or down 10 pixels at a time so if you know that you can and you want to put all of your objects exactly 10 or 20 pixels away from each other you know that that's either one or two uh, clicks in that direction while holding the shift key down on your keyboard of course you can always move objects one pixel at a time in any direction by just simply tapping the direction arrows on your keyboard like I am now so once you have your website all ready to go and you've saved your changes uh, one of the things that you will want to do is add a domain name that's going to help you get found on the search engine and then you're going to be able to give that domain name uh, to your friends your family your business colleagues and it's going to give you a great professional appearance on the web web starts is awesome because when you add that domain name it automatically sets up with your account the process at other places like uh, GoDaddy for example extremely complicated uh, you're gonna have to know how to set up your DNS and a bunch of other things a bunch of other acronyms that you don't even need to worry about with web starts and of course if you ever get into any trouble we have an 1-800 number directly on our home page and we have real people sitting behind me in the office as you can see answering the phones right now uh, with your questions so another thing I wanted to cover real quick before I show you how to add that domain is add your new page right there you can just click on that icon and you can choose to make a duplicate of an existing page or you can just click on uh, a new blank page right here so but I wanted to give that, that little heads up but uh, anyway once you're ready go ahead and click on add domain and you'll be navigate away to this page and then you just choose the domain you want like if you want to have a you know crazy good photography.com you would type that in there and then you would check 
click check availability. If your domain's available, you'll be asked to upgrade to either a Pro or a Pro Plus account. That's such a good deal because it's less than $100 a year. It comes out to like $7 a month. We have to bill by the year increment in order to get you that terrific savings, but right now we're able to continue to offer that. And I think that's one of the uh, real fantastic things about WebStarts is even if you get our highest level account, it's still only gonna cost you less than $100 a year. But once you've added that domain name, uh, there's a lot of other things you can do to get found on the search engine and drive traffic to your website and create terrific looking designs. I don't have time to cover it all in this one single video, but if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll see that I have uploaded over 580 videos that tell you step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to do a whole array of things. And you'll also see a lot of fun, neat stuff that we do in the office just to display a little bit of our personality and uh, just to stay loose around here. So if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button on this video to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com to build your very own free website. And if you ever have any questions, call us at 1-800-805-0920.